Welcome to this July summer messy wedding. And I hope that you really enjoy the service with us. Today we're going to look at the story of how Jesus turned water into wine at the Cana wedding. We are going to think about that and do a little experiment of traveling water. We're going to make some celebratory messy flowers followed by a never ending card. And then finally, we are going to make a messy hat for our wedding. Sit back, enjoy and do share your crafts with us. Stories of the Bible. Jesus turns water into wine. This is Jesus. Hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God oh, I see. and man. One day, Jesus, his disciples, and his mother went to a wedding in Cana. In the middle of the party, the wine ran out. Uh oh. So Jesus' mother, Mary, told him, they have no more wine. Ah! Jesus replied, dear woman, that's not our problem. My time has not yet come. Excuse me. But Mary told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars. The Jews used jars like these in their washing ceremony. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. Yeah, okay. When the jars had been filled, he said, now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants did what Jesus told them to. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first. Then when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine but you have kept the best until now. This miraculous sign in Cana in Galilee was the first time Jesus revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Hello everyone, um, today we're going to be making some paper flowers for the wedding in Kana. Um, so for the flowers you will need to, need to use tissue paper, um, tissue paper or some, or some thin, if you've got something thin, thin paper, that, that, that'll work as well. Uh, the first one we're going to make um, this one what's well, something like this use whatever colors you like doesn't really matter and for this one um, one two we need to cut three four six squares uh, approximately 10 centimeters square these ones are but they can be whatever size you like um, so we need to fold Fold it, fold a triangle, then fold it again, fold it across, then we fold it across again, and keep hold of this bottom bit, bottom point here with the fold on this side. 
see that. Now we're going to keep a finger on there and draw a petal shape. So we're going to go up round, basically just cut round petal shape. We've got a petal shape, so it's going to be like that shape. With your scissors, just make sure you keep that corner secure. Cut your petal. That. And there we have a flower shape like that. There's a couple of. So you need to carry on and do another six of those. So with your square, fold it into a triangle, fold it over again to make a, make a triangle and over again. And remember you need to keep keep hold of the the corner there. Just to recap, we need to draw a petal. And cut that one out. There we go. So there's another another one, two. I've got a couple here that I've already done. So I'm going to pop them together so that they fill the gaps, so they're not flat together. They're alternative to the one below. And carry on popping them together. And another one. You've got six there. Another one. Five. Anyway, six. Them all together like that. We just need a staple gun, or you can glue them in the middle. Just put a spot of glue in between each one, and then curl them up. Just bring them up like, so that they up a little bit. And you could, you might like to put a little centre, put a little blob of glue in the middle, and a bit of tissue paper to make a centre. There we are, and I've just been in the garden, collected up some twigs, so that's what I'm going to put them on. And we're going to glue them. Oops. Turn over. Bit of glue on your stick. You can you, you could always use uh, just some tape, sticky tape for this if you wanted. Doesn't have to be glue. Goes onto the back. You squeeze. Give it a minute. So basically, that's, that's the first one done. One design. And for this. This one I put some leaves on. You might want to put some leaves onto the stalk. Here's my go at making a never-ending card.
watch this tutorial how you can make your own and do share your messy creations with us. Weddings, getting ready for a wedding. It's important to know what you're going to wear beforehand. I like to choose or even to go out and buy a nice new outfit of some sort. But for our messy church wedding, I'm going to prepare myself by making one or two things. And the first thing I'm going to make is a hat. My hat is going to be made from newspaper. Now all you need for this hat is um, three sheets of newspaper and some tape, any tape, sellotape, 
masking tape, whatever you've got. And uh, take my three sheets of paper. There they are. I've chosen a colourful one because I thought that might be quite nice. And um, I sort of, if I don't line them up carefully, I have put them, can you see that, at an angle? They are on top of one another, and then I put them on top of my head, like this. <laughs> this is the fun bit. And fold it, uh, and here, I'm folding it so that it holds to the shape of my head. Holding it this way, and a bit at the back as well. Somebody might help you do this, because it's not the easiest thing, as you can see, to do on your own. When I've done that, I'm going to tape that into place. And I'm going to do that off camera. Well, it's coming on. Can you see? I stuck it there and it fits my head quite well, this one. I made one earlier, which I'll show you later. Now, you can do what you like with this, but I'm just going to try and make a brim to my hat by curling this bit over. Do you see? I'd need more tape. To keep it in place but you get the idea I hope. There isn't one right way to do it. Your hat can be whatever shape you want it to be using your newspaper and tape. It's good fun, have a go. When you've made your hat then you need to decorate it. You can do that any way you want and I just went to my cupboard of old wrapping paper and bits of tissue and things like that that I keep. I never throw away old wrapping paper. I keep it just in case it comes in useful. And you can make with your wrapping paper or with just white paper a tissue. Whatever you have to hand, you can make some flowers. This is how to do it. You take a piece of paper like this. It, it depends how big you want your flower, how wide. It could be quite narrow. You can make it quite wide. It's up to you. It's the same way of making it, whatever you do. And you just fold over the top about that much, a little bit, and then you turn the paper over and fold it the other way. Can you see that? Let me turn the paper over again, fold it, again, and fold it. I need to show you. My paper is gradually getting folded. And you go all the way down. You have to fold every bit of your paper back and forth. Back and forth. I'm getting like a concertina here. And I've got one that I folded earlier. All folded. When it's like that, you take it in the middle and you find something. I've, I've got a tag here from um, probably a bag of bread. Another thing I don't throw away. And 
just going to fold that at the middle point like this. Now, when I started doing this, I thought I was just going to make a flower, but I found something really wonderful about this. And that's that you can make different things from it. You can make a sort of bow shape by just fanning it out one side and the other. You can stick it here and at the bottom there and make a rosette if you want. Or if you've got tissue paper or something like that, you can Use lots of layers and fold them in just the same way. And then when you join them together, just pull apart the layers carefully and you get a sort of pom pom -y flower, which I thought I'd stick there. <laughs> anyway, have fun with it. See what you can do. Enjoy dressing up. Now I'm just going to show you the hat I made earlier, although this one seems to have worked all right, doesn't it? The hat I made earlier was a bit bigger, and as you can see, I've stuck some ribbon around it, some paper ribbon, and I made a rosette to go on it. What do you think? Am I ready for the wedding? I'm looking forward to it. See you there. enjoyed this online messy church and all this talk about weddings has made me really excited about the remaining weddings that I've got to take this summer as a vicar and also um, a friend of mine's wedding which will happen in just two weeks time. So as we bring our time together to an end let us pray and if you'd like to make this prayer your own just say amen with me at the end. Lord Jesus, you take everyday events like weddings and show us how honour, respect and being the good neighbour can make a difference in our world. Help us to be there for others in more difficult situations. We pray that they may know the joy and celebration of you, Jesus Christ, who untangles life's difficult knots. And may God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless you and all those who you love, today and always. Amen.